Rich, what are you making for us today? Well, Rich, I'm excited. Uh oh. I'm I'm actually excited and I'm nervous because I've never made this before. I've seen people making it for years, and so I want to make it. I don't think I've ever had it. And so I found where they're actually making it on a grill. It is summertime. We need to fire up the grill. Isn't that correct, ladies and gentlemen? So I got excited about doing this, but I've never made it before. You, you, you know, the key is the crispy rice on the bottom, right? The sakarat. Oh, yeah, of course. The what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or or sakarat. I can't remember. Anyway, it's something like that. All right. Yeah. But have you even heard of it? <laughs> I'm not surprised. Um, anyway, so uh, to start everything off, I just I need to make the I guess sauce liquid that's going to cook the rice, um, and I, I need to get that going first, and then let it you know cool down a little bit and you know get happy. So come on, get happy. All right, so here we go. I'm going to turn my burner on. Hi, I've got me some avocado oil. I'm going to put about a tablespoon in there. And, okay, ladies and gentlemen, I have some garlic. I have a whole bowl of garlic. But laziness actually prevailed because of Rich. Yes! <laughs> yes. i got to say, so I don't have to chop the garlic. Um, so I need. Uh, We're like the aristocrats. <laughs> Our things are done for us. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's obscure, Rich. Thank you. Even, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're gonna put a little garlic in here, and we're gonna get, let this go for a little while. We want we want it to actually brown. I just got to hold my hand. <laughs> And, you know, Rich tried to be manly. So. <laughs> I was too manly. See, this is why we decided we needed to uh, both be in the video so I could ask, what the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> and he will be asking that quite a bit. Yes, yes I will. So, oh, there we go. We got a sizzle going. So the trick here is I'm gonna cook this without burning the garlic. You wanna, I wanna get it uh, browned up, even a little bit here, kind of toasted, uh, without actually burning it. Because if you burn garlic, you're done. You you dump everything out and you start over. There's no there's no getting rid of that that uh, bitter burnt flavor of garlic. So. Oh yeah, it's not. <laughs> so we just want to get it kind of toasted here. All right, now we're gonna add some. I need some tomato paste. So I'm gonna put in here, and what else? Uh, and some paprika. This is smoked paprika, since I'm going to be. Uh, doing this on the grill and I need, I don't know, I think it said a half a teaspoon. That's about right. Yeah. And we want the tomato paste to brown and get uh, smelling good and get darker because um, you really need to cook the canned flavor out of the tomato paste because it will taste that way. And we started to get a little bit too hot, so we're gonna move it off the heat a little bit here to cool it back down a little. I have a can of chicken stock. I'm supposed to use more tomato paste than I actually did. <coughs> um, because I was looking for clam juice and I couldn't find any. Well, clamato, clam, and tomato, it's yeah. like a bonus. Plus, yeah. it's got a little spice to it. So, you know, for that little Spanish kick, right? So, I figured, you know, what the hell? Let's give this a go. 
So I'm gonna put this whole can of Club Auto right. in here. So I think I only needed eight ounces of uh, clam juice. But I want the tomato and the spice, so I put the whole can in there. If I need to, I can cook it down a little bit. And what that's else? That's a good. That's a good thing about sauces. You can. It's easy to fix them. And as long as you don't burn them. Right. Okay. So I'm also supposed to use some dry sherry. <laughs> I didn't have that either. <laughs> Actually, I do have that, but I left it. I totally forgot it. I left it at my house. I keep some in the fridge. It's like 20% alcohol, so you can keep it in your fridge for a long time. Yeah. And use it, you know, whenever. But Rich had what I was looking for. I had his back. It's a chop shop Cabernet Sauvignon. Right? So chop I'm, I'm going to put a little Cabernet Sauvignon. I think it's supposed to be a third of a cup or something like that. No, that's a lot, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> then you are going to be hoppy. <laughs> <laughs> I sure will be. Oh, no, it is a third of a cup. Dang. All right. I am going to heat this up to a boil <clears throat> uh, and even Bruce needs recipes. <laughs> <laughs> he already told everybody he had never done this before. I know. So I know I'm the man. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to bring this to a boil, take it off the heat, and in the meantime um, I am making a seafood paella, which I don't think I ever said. Nice. Because you know, uh, I I have shrimp and little neck clams. Oh, nice! And I've never ever used little neck clams either. So <laughs> this well, is I, I love clams. So I'm so down. and I was also actually this is another thing that's changed. Um, <clears throat> I was supposed to use uh, Spanish chorizo, which. The Spanish chorizo is cured, and it's uh, you know, it's more like a pepperoni, right? And it's it's ready, oh, it? it's ready to go. It's like sliced. It's like a piece of sausage. Yeah. Okay, I didn't realize that. Okay. And I only use the Mexican chorizo. Well, we live in Texas, so we don't get the Spanish Which chorizo. We like using chili sometimes. We use we get just the Mexican chorizo, and it is always a loose. Well, it's pretty much raw. You have to cook it, right? And it's real loose. Um, so, I was trying to figure out what to do. So, what's the next best thing? Because of where I live, andouille sausage. Oh, yeah. So, I got me some andouille sausage, okay. and we're going to use that. All right. So, in the meantime, I'm going to... I'm a fan of andouille. I'm going to clean some shrimp and get it seasoned up. All right. So, I got a pound of shrimp here that's been cleaned. Um, and when I say that, it's like, we peeled the shrimp, took the poop chute out, um, it's 16 to 25 shrimp, I think, I don't remember. A good size. How many shrimp? They got, they got a shrimp. There's a pound of them in there, how many do you think there is there? Uh, About 15, 16? 16 to 18. Yeah, okay, so. That's usually how they sell them. <laughs> we're going to season up the shrimp, put a little salt and pepper. Um, some smoked paprika, paprika, which I love. I say what a seductive voice for not say just that. flavors, <laughs> not just flavors, color. Yeah, okay, you you don't have some. Don't, don't no, I don't. Know. <laughs> you made me do it. All right, I can, and I can see Bruce is better with his life. A little garlic. <laughs> Okay, maybe a lot of garlic. Actually, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. I don't know why you... Cancel that statement. Why do you keep talking? Sorry. No, you're not. I know. How much garlic was in there, Bruce? Okay, um... Oh, that a was pinch. A, that was a big pinch. Okay, yeah, big pinch. Big pinch. Got well, it. it's a little bit more than I was planning on, but okay. okay. Alright, and we need about a uh, tablespoon of uh, oil. This is what Rich has, which is fine. Um, I like the avocado oil now that... Uh, he turned me on to it. I do so. have I do have enough olive oil for that. <laughs> but now this should work fine anyway though. No, I mean either or. Uh, 
you know, good oil is good oil, uh -huh. right? It's going to yeah. add flavor. Um, all right, so. I've got paprika in there. You can make sure that everything's coated right with color. Yep. All right. So we got everything in there. We're all good to go. And this is going to go in the fridge for, uh, eh, to get happy. Get happy. It's going to get happy. Come on, get happy. Uh, no. Okay. No. All right. All right. No. Sorry, America. You see that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, did that, America. Ladies and gentlemen, what I've done is I put about a quarter cup of oil in here. Um, I had a whole chimney of uh, lump charcoal, and then I dumped some more on top so I could make sure that I get all of the heat that I'm going to need to cook this all the way through. So. With the oil, now I have a couple of shallots that are going to go in here. And I have a jar of roasted red pepper. I was going to roast some red uh, bell peppers. Um, that takes a little while. So I just got a jar. Of roasted red peppers that I can just put in here. And we are going to saute. I need to put a little salt in here. Alright. So we're going to put a little salt and pepper in there to go with it. And we saute. Alright, so as you can see, the peppers and onions. I've been sauteing really well, and so now I have some arborio rice. I'm going to use a cup and a half of it, um, or hell, maybe all of it, I don't know. Dude, I'm just going to use all of it. And we need to get this all kinds of sauteed into the peppers and onions. We need to get everything coated with oil. Woo! That's hot. Um, it's one of the best ways I think actually to cook rice anyway. Is to do it with oil and uh, and kind of saute the rice a little bit too. And, Get it a little toasty. So what else do they use this rice for? Oh, this is arborio rice. They use it for risotto. Oh, risotto. The main thing it is used for is risotto. It's very starchy. It's a short grain rice. And so when you uh, do this and you cook it, all the starch starts to come out and it it thickens the liquid to make a beautiful sauce, um, which is why they love to use it for risotto. It's an Italian rice. All right, so I have gotten all the rice coated with sauce. The very yummy liquid that I made earlier now going in the pan, which of course is going to start to cook the rice. And so we're going to pour all this in and we're going to let this cook for just a little bit. Okay ladies and gentlemen, we now have simmering rice. We're putting the shrimp in here.
Oh yeah, this is like. Oh yeah, it's starting to sizzle and everything. Oh, okay, we're looking good. All right, so the clams aren't quite cooked yet, and so we're gonna stuff them down in there. All right. So what do we have here? So here's the thing. So I failed. Um, Bail ya. And in my failure, wah, wah. George bailed me out. And so, you know, I'm gonna Not make some failure. I'm gonna make some paella. Oh good, it's on the other side. It's on the other side. <laughs> so <clears throat> um we thought this might be, I don't know, a pretty good beer to have with the paella since we got the rice, the uh, shrimp and the clams. So it is called Chill Vibes. It is a sour ale with cucumber. Oh, I'm already dreading this. I know, isn't that awesome? <laughs> and let's see what, what else we got to know here about this. But, uh, but we're going to do it. We're doing it's, this for you, America. <laughs> it is from Boulevard Brewing, which is in Kansas City, Missouri, and it is 4.2% 4, 4. 4. alcohol by law. That, that's almost your area. It's a different state. Um, I've been to Boulevard. We uh, we toured the place and we drank a lot of beer. Ah, at the brewery. It was. You didn't drink that one. No, I did not. I drank some weird beers there, though. I will say that they had some uh, different tasting beers. Wow, the citrus hits you right away. Okay, the sour part of this. Yeah. I have yet to taste any cucumber. I actually, I, actually, I taste I cucumber. Can. I can. I. Yeah. What the hell is this? It says sour ale with cucumber. Oh. Right? The sour is definitely there. It's both. Okay. Both. Well, I did taste the cucumber finally. And this beer is nasty. Okay. Cool, yeah. crisp, and fresh. Sorry. Okay. This beer is nasty, Not ladies great. and gentlemen. And we should not have you this. You might like this. We don't. I don't We're going to be drinking something else. <laughs> yes. with no, 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 no. You don't need to like this. This beer is nasty. You do not need to drink this ever. Yeah, well, we're never going to get sponsorship from Boulevard. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Sorry, Boulevard. Sorry, Boulevard. <laughs> it's like a, a bitter. Uh, it's almost uh, like a, cu a cucumber salad. It's a bitter but cucumber. It's a, but it's a beer. You want to play it later because you got the, right. you got the, uh, it's you a bitter, you got a, the vinegar in the cucumber. It's a salad. bitter yeah. cucumber. You want to put like, lime and cucumber together in a bowl and that's all you eat? I'm no, not talking about, no, no. all right, vinegar? You know how you have a bad that. cucumber that's got bitterness to it? Yeah. yeah. That's what this is. You're right. Well, you're an expert on cucumber. So, I am. I should know. <laughs> I love you, America. I'm gonna finish this for you. Uh. So, what we're looking for here, besides the fact that we have, uh, you know, all of this good stuff, is we're supposed to be having some crunchy rice. Oh yeah, we do. Actually, put it down in there. There it is. Okay, so we have some crispy rice here. Ah, there it is. That's what I was looking for. I'm good. Alright, and I'm gonna get a couple of clams. Yeah, get those clams in there. Okay, so I have a crap load of food on this plate now. <sighs> Let's see. What we got here? So I got a little shrimp, got a little burnt rice, which is, I guess, what they want, right? And so we're gonna try this out. It's probably hot as crap. Hadn't stopped it before. Nope. That's well, really good. <laughs> but yeah, you're getting another little bit smaller. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that one's that's open. That one's open. That one's completely open, yeah. Alright. Mmm. These are... Oh, man. 
breathe in there and not get anything. <coughs> yeah, you gotta work for it. <laughs> We're watching you work for it. I, I noticed, I found that out. <laughs> Only was more coordinated. Oh, there we go. Oh, God. Mm. Mm. This is so good. The, uh. That's a nice flavor. Mmm. The rice with the tomato and the clam juice. And I use the clamato in there. And, like, as much as I like clams, I don't normally like the clamato, but. It works. Right, it really right. does, doesn't it? And. Um, okay, so. I would definitely make this again. I think it's worth the trouble. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Spot right, on. and I'm, I'm gonna hold off before I do anything and panic. So let's see. Let's see what happens. George has a small penis. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm not sure where that came from or how you know that information, but. <laughs> I saw it on YouTube. While it's gotta be true. While the camera's on. 